Welcome back to another episode. I'm Jason Alonso, and today we're talking about credit monitoring. Is it useful or is it just another unused subscription eating up your money? What do you think? Well, let's meet John. John wants to start his own business, so he searches for the perfect office space and he finds the one. He applies for a loan and is surprised when it gets declined. This can't be right. He checked his credit four months ago and he had an 800 score. Well, he signs up for Fund and Grow Credit Services immediately and discovers his 800 score drop to 650. The monitoring service revealed several unauthorized credit cards all maxed out and past due. How could this happen? Identity theft. Identity theft can happen to anybody. And the only way to ensure it doesn't happen to you is with a premium credit monitoring service. John could have stopped this fraud if he was alerted. I've heard stories from other business owners who applied for a credit card or a loan and got denied because they thought their credit was ready. Well, maybe it was a few weeks ago, but now it's tanked. Our clients deserved an all-inclusive service so we went to work and created Fund and Grow Credit Services to be accurate and affordable. We finally improved the credit monitoring services by creating our own. Credit scores can change all the time and without credit monitoring, you'd have no idea. You can miss negatives on your report and find yourself being denied for personal loans, mortgages, HELOCs, credit cards, auto loans, and more. Instead, you could be alerted of unexpected changes to quickly address them and keep your scores high. Everyone needs a credit monitoring service. As a business owner or entrepreneur, we don't have time to sit in front of a computer and monitor all three credit reports. I need 24 seven monitoring and real time notifications to alert me of changes so I can focus on growing my business instead of worrying about my credit. The Federal Trade Commission shows 42% of all fraud cases come from identity theft. And it's the fastest growing online crime in the US. There are cases where people's credit is destroyed because unauthorized accounts were unnoticed, sometimes for up to six months or more. That can cause real damage to your report, just like it did for John. People are always surprised when I tell them this, but credit reporting agencies, <laughs> they make mistakes. Don't mess up your name, your address, and without a credit monitoring service, you've got no idea. It may not seem like a big deal, but if you apply with these mistakes, you're gonna have a hard time getting verified by the lender, and the application is most likely gonna get denied. I know credit monitoring isn't a new discovery, it just needed our expert touch. Seeing a tri-merge report right before applying is a huge advantage our service offers. You get to click submit knowing exactly what the lender will see. Most people are unsure and just hope for an approval. By monitoring your credit, you'll see your scores and negative impacts. Is it the utilization? Is it the average age of your accounts? Or is it maybe a late payment that you didn't know about? If you look at your reports before applying, you can correct these things. Using a credit service ensures approvals with the highest limits and better interest rates, saving you thousands. There's no reason not to sign up for this service right now. With Fund and Grow Credit Services, you get 24 seven access to bank level tri-merge credit reports and full transparency to view your credit report, just like the lenders do, saving you time and an inquiry when you're ready to apply. We offer you the best service and price at just $15.95 a month. Some credit services can cost upwards of $40 a month. Choosing a service that will save me thousands for less than 50 cents a day, that's an easy decision. Now let's talk a little bit about how to sign up because I know everybody out there, you're going to need credit monitoring at one point or another. So let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit. To sign up, what you're gonna wanna do is visit fundandgrowcreditservices.com 
and go to member login. Member login is gonna be at the top right hand corner of your page. When you click that, you're gonna see this page behind me. You're gonna to wanna to click not a member and sign up now. When you do that, this page is gonna pop up. You're gonna to wanna to fill out all of this information, first name, last name, address, city. This is verifying your information to make sure that we're pulling the correct reports for you. Very important, you can see up here, $15.95 a month, no hidden fees, nothing. That's what you're paying. You're paying just under $16 a month or 50 cents a day to get access to your credit reports. Once you fill out all your information, you're gonna to wanna to hit continue. You wanna make sure that you go through all the steps to verify yourself and get yourself started with the membership. Now, once you sign up, here's the meat and potatoes. This is the most important part. This is your main screen. This is your home page. Up here across the top, you're gonna see scores from all three credit bureaus. Very important to see the difference, right? All three credit bureaus, most of the time, are gonna have different scores. So you can click here to see your TransUnion report, click here to see Experian, click here to see Equifax. Now, the cool part about this is you're gonna be able to see all three reports as soon as you click one of those buttons. If you wanna order a new report, you can order a new report once every 30 days. So once the 30 days comes up, hit order new report, it'll pop up another screen, and you can click order new report. Still, $15.95 a month. Nothing changes, you don't get charged extra. Also on the main page, your credit alerts. What were we talking about before? Do you have new inquiries? Do you have a new account? Is your balance high? Is your balance over the limit? Is your utilization good? You're gonna see all of this here. You can see one, one month ago, this person had a potentially negative account. Experian, Experian has received a report that the card limit has been exceeded. That means the balance is higher than what the credit limit is. What's gonna happen to your credit score if that happens? It's gonna drop. It's gonna drop through the floor because you're not managing your personal credit correctly. You'll be able to catch that in time by monitoring your credit report. Another Great thing, identity protection monitor. Through here, you're gonna be able to see that their internet surveillance. This will monitor the internet to see if your name, your social, your email, your address is just out there in the web. If somebody's using it, it's gonna alert you if it catches it somewhere that it's not supposed to be. Your social security number, same difference. If it's out there where it's not supposed to be, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna alert you. You're gonna get an email, you're gonna get a notification, and you'll be able to go in here, click view, and figure out what it is, and take the appropriate actions to get this thing fixed before it ruins your personal credit and takes you years to fix. Very important that you keep an eye on this main page. Up to $1 million in ID theft reimbursement. Huge benefit, a huge benefit. That's gonna help you if somebody does take your ID, if they drain your bank account, if you lose work, if you have to pay to get your, your life back in order. That is going to protect you. Identity restoration services. We're gonna help you get started and fix your report if your ID is stolen and somebody is applying for accounts. Now you should be able to see it before it actually happens or stop it when it happens. But if for whatever reason, somebody does take, take control and you're not able to stop it, we're gonna help you figure out ways to fix it and fix it quick by giving you a step-by-step -step process to follow to get everything taken care of in a timely manner. Now, the bottom of the page is how to's. It's gonna teach you about credit it's gonna teach you about using credit. It's gonna teach you about understanding your credit report. So if you have questions about your credit report, 
you can click that and it'll tell you where your balance is and where your limits are and when the accounts were open, payments, all that good stuff. And then how to understand your credit score. What's a good credit score? What's an okay credit score? What's not so good, right? It's going to explain everything right here on your homepage. Lots of good information here. Now, when you click up here to view a credit report, you're going to see again, the scores from all three bureaus. So here you can see TransUnion 761, Equifax 668, Experian 630. Right there, you're thinking, ah, okay, I'm in the fair to good right around there. Really, you want to be above 700. You want to be above that 720 range and build from there. So right here, just looking at it, there's probably something going on, but you get a good idea of the sliding scale of, of where you should be right down here. And that goes for all three bureaus. Now, this is the breakdown of all three bureaus. As I mentioned before, you're going to be able to see a breakdown of all three of them. Here it is total accounts. This is going to tell you how many total accounts there are reporting on your TransUnion, Equifax and Experian reports, whether they're opened or closed. Below it is the opened accounts. Very important to pay attention to because this could be hurt in scores as well. You can see TransUnion has 19, Equifax has 19, but Experian is only reporting 15 open accounts. That doesn't make sense. You have to figure out why Experian isn't reporting those extra four accounts because they could be accounts in very good standing. You get those accounts brought back on Experian and guess what? This 630 is probably going to turn into a 670 very easily and very quickly. How many closed accounts are there? You can see that some of the accounts fell off at TransUnion. They have nine Equifax, 11 Experian, 18. Very important information. Now to get really in depth with this, you're going to want to scroll down a little bit, scroll down. And this is where you're going to see all of your accounts starting with the open accounts. So you can see that they're all in good standing. Here's your balance right here. Now to really dig in deep to it, you want to click the plus button or the minus button right up next to the account name. You can see here that this account is actually closed with a balance of $5,739. Now, if you have a closed account, even if it's for $1, your credit score is going to drop. The banks, the lenders, anybody who's trying to get you approved for a loan is not going to approve you. If you have any kind of balance on a closed account, they want to make sure that you are paying off all of that debt, especially on closed accounts. Why was the account closed? Why is there still a balance on there? It's a risk. The banks see it as a risk and they will automatically decline. Guess what? Before you apply, you can check fund and grow credit services and see all of this information and get it taken care of and watch your scores skyrocket. Just watch down here. You can see the balance 5,739. You can see the credit limit here balance here. And then it comes down into the time frames of when the account was open. So this account has, has payment history since 2014 started off. Good. We have some okays here. Okays are good. You paid it on time. You made at least the minimum payment. Everything was going great. Well, whatever happened with this account, it kind of fell off here, right? There was no data. That means that there was no payments being made. There may not be any payments due at that time. It could have been put in um, forbearance, but come May of 2015, January, February, March, April, May turned into a charge off a closed account with a balance here. You can see here, these numbers, 60, 90, 120. Those are how many days you were late on your account. So if it says 60 here, this account was late by 60 days in January of 2015. 
they only count up to 120. So in February, it was 90 days. And then in March, it was 120 days past due for the next couple of months. And then it was a closed account. Counted as a charge off. Because there was no payments being made, the banks took it as a loss, most likely sold it off to a, to a collection agency to collect. I've seen people with these types of accounts actually get served and told to go to court to settle these balances. Now, if you had credit monitoring, you'd be able to figure out, oh no, I need to start making at least a minimum payment on these accounts. This person may not even have known about this account. That's the crazy part about it. If they didn't have credit monitoring, somebody could have easily opened this account, charged it up, maxed it out, and left it. This poor person could be paying $5,800 $5, that somebody else spent because they weren't looking at credit monitoring. That's what it can do to you guys. It could really, really hurt you for years. Look, this is three years. This is a three year summary because they didn't know or they didn't take care of it. It happens all the time. We see it all the time. People running into these issues. That's not my account. That's not my account. I promise. I promise. Well, do you have credit monitoring by any chance? No, I don't. Well, I didn't, but I do now. You need to jump on this immediately so that you can keep track of it once a month you can see a new credit report every time there's a new inquiry every time something changes on your credit report you're going to know about it and you're going to get the alert and you're going to be able to stop it before it ruins you once you scroll down a little bit more after that you're going to be able to jump into the hard inquiries Hard inquiries every time you submit an application for a loan, a credit card, a car, HELOC, mortgage, whatever the case is, the banks have to pull one or two or even three credit reports on you to check to make sure that you're in a lendable position. Because if you're not in good shape, decline. That's going to add an inquiry to your credit report for no reason. Inquiries can drop your score from anywhere between two and four points. Now, if you keep applying and applying and applying and you're getting decline and decline and decline, guess what's going to happen to your score? It's going to drop. But if you apply one time because you know that you're in a lendable position, you're only going to get one inquiry. Your new account's going to come up. It's going to season for a little bit. It's going to show history your scores are going to go up instantly. It's very, very important that you track the inquiries because this will also tell you whether or not somebody is applying using your social. If you did not submit an application to a lender and you see a hard inquiry on your report, immediately call the credit bureaus get on the app, get online and freeze all of your credit reports. Freeze them immediately. When you freeze a credit report, nobody's going to be able to pull your reports and nobody is going to be able to lend to your social security number. Now only do that is if you, if you expect you not to apply for a very long time or you think somebody has your information to remove a freeze. Just repeat the process backwards. Call them, tell them you want to remove the freeze, go on to your, your app or online or your online account or whatever it is, and you can remove the freeze that way. All right, but what you can do here, you can actually see the details of these inquiries again by clicking the plus button. It's gonna tell you the date. It's gonna tell you like right here, here is the date here. It's gonna tell you what, what bureau it pulled from. It's gonna tell you um, what it was for. So this one's for uh, miscellaneous public record. If it's for a credit card, it's gonna tell you that. If it's for a auto loan, it should tell you that as well. It all depends on how the company reports its inquiries. Down here below is where your collections are gonna show up. Collections, 
automatically drop scores no matter what. Very important to check to make sure that for one, it is yours and for two, where it's at. So this, this person had a collection with T-Mobile. The balance on that collection is $2,062. There's multiple ways to fix this. You can call and verify the account with T-Mobile or the collection agency. You can try to pay to delete, which means, hey, I would like to settle this account. I'll go ahead and pay this off, but I would like it in writing that you're going to remove it from my, my credit report. Some collection agencies do that. Another option is to go through credit repair. We have a great affiliate, Kadem Credit Help, who'd be able to work to remove these collections, especially if they're not yours. People do it all the time and I just, I don't get it. Stop paying other people's bills, especially if they're trying to steal your identity. So make sure that you verify that that account is yours. Now these collections can come up anywhere. They can come up from old apartment, like rental agreements. They can come up from old utility bills, old cell phone bills, old cable bills, anything. They can come up as a collection. Anybody who's trying to collect money from you and you haven't made a payment in a certain period of time is going to show up as a collection. If you owe money on a collection, that means you owe money on a closed account and most likely you are never going to get approved for anything. If you do get approved, you're most likely going to get approved for an auto loan, but your interest rate is going to be in the 10, 12, 18% range. You are losing thousands of dollars if you're paying interest rates that high. Thousands. No questions asked. When's the last time that you checked your credit score? Think back. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't even think about it. But I'm telling you, now's your chance to get involved with Fund and Grow Credit Services and never have to worry about it. So remember, with Fund and Grow Credit Services, you get 24 seven access to bank level tri-merge credit reports and full transparency to view your report just as the lenders do. Now we offer you the best service and price at just $15.95 a month, which is about half of what other monitoring services cost. Now this decision is a no brainer guys. And in the long run, seriously, it could save you thousands of dollars and years of heartache. Now I want to thank you for watching and remember where we fund, you grow.